So my question is, do you believe that anything that has a beginning in time is created? Anything that has a beginning in time is created. You believe that? No, 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 no. Hold on. My apologies. No. I take what that do you? Back. No, I take that back. Why no, I would you take that, take that back? I, I, I would take that back because things can have a beginning in time that are uncreated, like the energy, the action. So why did you initially say that? Because I was just thinking about creative things. Okay, so you believe things can have a beginning in time yes. and not be created. That's correct. Can things that have that beginning and end also be created? The things that have that were beginning. uncreated, sorry. Sorry, rephrase your question because that didn't make sense. Okay, so those things which have a beginning. Yes. Right? Okay, let's talk about the energies. Okay. Explain your understanding of the energies. It, what, Start there. It, it's what God does. It's what God does. Yeah. Okay, so can you give an example? So probably a lot of people don't know what. Fair enough. What I'll, I'll give you an example. So one of the attributes of Allah is that He is the Creator. Now that presents a logical problem, obviously, because Muslims believe that Allah has always been the Creator, even though Allah hasn't always created. Which yeah. is another. That's where I want to talk. Yeah. About. So it, that's an irrational contradiction. You're not a Creator until you create. Christians with. Because of the energy and essence distinction, don't have that problem. Because what we say is that God becomes the creator when he creates. And this action of creation is, is, is an energy. It has a beginning in time. So did the did gods, from your perspective, the energy of creating, did that have a beginning? The energy of creating, yes. Um, in other words, when you're talking about the energies, you said that you can have an energy that has a beginning that is not created, correct? Yeah, the source of it. Okay. So the source is the essence. Okay. So can you have energies which don't have a beginning? So, so, I mean, mean eternal. Yeah, so, so uh, let, let, let's be clear about my, my knowledge of the, the theology of Gregory Palamas something that I'm studying, I don't claim to be an expert. So I, I wanna I wanna state from the beginning that if I say something in error, I'm open to being corrected by those who know better. Like you Bronson, Ian Branson, Johnson, the other guy. So I, I, I am open. Or maybe me. I, I'm, I'm open to be corrected. I'm open to be corrected. Well, I would check everything that Dai say anyway. Yeah. Um, I'll show it to you. Yeah, that's fine. But but my understanding is that things like God creating are dependent upon things like mind, will, um, the desire of God but, but to do something. So it's predicated on something else. Now whether I would define things like God's mind as an energy, I don't know enough about Gregory Palamas's discourse on these things to say whether they should yeah, be I'm asking, I'm, asking, I'm asking a specific question. We, you, would, you agree that there are some energies, or maybe all, that's what I'm trying to figure out, that have a beginning but are uncreated, correct? They, 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 they have a beginning they, they but they're a, not they, created. They have, yeah, like the act of creation. Okay, so they have a beginning but are not created, they're uncreated energies. They're uncreated now I'm asking, we got that aside, yeah. now I'm asking if there are any energies which don't have a beginning that are eternal. I couldn't answer that. I don't you know, don't know. I don't know Gregory Palamas's position enough to answer that. But I'm saying that's that's basic and fundamental to this discussion. And what's your point? My point is, and that's why I wanted to address it before, that you're using terminology here in the park that you don't actually understand. Well, no, I, I think if... Are you, are you saying that I'm wrong to say that the energies are God's actions? It depends what you mean by that. that because that, I can that, show you, that, this is why I'm trying to tell you, yeah. you don't actually know what the energies of God are. Well, well let's, let, let's come back to this. Yeah. Let's come back to this. You say that Allah is a creator. Yes, I do. Was he a creator before he created? Yes. How can someone be a creator before Exactly. He what I'm showing you is, and you said you don't know about Gregory Palamas. No, I don't know everything exactly. about Exactly. So I'm Palamas. telling you, I can pull it up and read you a quote. Hold think, on, let me finish. I think, I think, let I me think, finish. I think, let me, I'm answering your question. Hold on a second. I'm answering your question That's to show you that you should you actually said, agree with me. Because Gregory Palamas talks about creating being an energy of God yeah. that is eternal. But you didn't know that. Um, that's my point. You're criticizing. The point is, you're critiquing the Muslim point of view and attempting to represent the essence energy distinction. But you haven't read Palamas. You don't understand Palamas. And what you're, no, it isn't. 
because you're critiquing a position which at the same time your own position that you're representing is in agreement with. Jake, 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 unfortunately, right, raising out these red herrings. About, They're not, it's not a red herring. Jake, it's not a red herring. Sorry, do, 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 do you asked me to listen to you, now I would ask you to do the same. Yeah, but you're saying so, it's a red so, herring. Oh, wait, wait, are we, going to do, are we going to do the whole interrupting thing for the last video? Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. So, it's a completely frivolous point, my knowledge <laughs> of Gregory Palamas in terms of my critique of Islamic theology. Now, I stated quite honestly, quite openly, that I'm learning the theology of Gregory. You're learning right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not someone who would fall into the trap of believing that because Jake presents himself as some expert of Gregory Palamas, that suddenly I'll that means that he is. I'll send it to you. Yeah, anyone can be an expert of a quote, bro, but that doesn't make them an expert of the person okay, that they we'll quote from. Judge. Exactly. But it's 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 a it's a misleading thing that because I've got X quote, that that means that I'm an expert of that person. But this is a complete. I never thought I was an expert. You're interrupting again. You're interrupting again. You're interrupting again. Yeah, there you go. So he's just said that he's not an expert. I'm not an expert. So we've got two non-experts talking about great Exactly, Palamas. but I know more. This is why it is a frivolous point, and it's no, ego-driven. Jake is, Jake is allowing his ego to get the better of him right now. Because the real point, the real substance of the debate, the real Ad substance hominem. of the debate, is about whether the description that is given of God within the Christian worldview or within the Islamic worldview, actually makes sense. And I would say to you that it makes no sense at all. No sense. And if Gregory Palamas makes this mistake, I will call out Gregory Palamas for the same mistake. Wow. But it makes no sense to say that someone is a creator before they've created. Can you be a doctor without that's treating like, people? Of course like you can. Saying, that's like me saying that I'm a GP. Yes. A general practitioner of medicine. Why? Because I have the potential to become the general practitioner of medicine. Okay, so... That logic is irrational, but yet that logic sits at the heart of That's what exactly. Islam says about Allah. Okay. You're a doctor so, when you become qualified. On this point, just like you're saying, you can't be a creator unless you create, right? Yeah. Okay. Can God be providentially ordering the world or have providence without the world? Um... Can God providentially... Can he have the world, the world without the world existing? The world has to exist for him to be providentially ordering the world, which was your question. Okay, providence itself. How do you understand that? Can you have providence over something that doesn't exist? Well, providence providence implies that something exists. Okay, it does. Yeah. So God, you don't think, can have the attribute of providence from eternity past? Um, I mean, logically, that seems to follow. Okay. Yeah. So let me let me so, read let me read for the audience, okay? Because Gregory Palamas. How how this is relevant. Bob had a discussion with my good friend Passion, was discussing essence energy distinction, talking about creation, and God cannot be a creator without creation. But let's listen to Gregory Palamas who actually crystallized the essence energy distinction. If Bob actually read the triads on the very first page of the discussion on essence energies, what does Gregory say? I should like to ask this man, Bob, why he claims that only the divine essence is without beginning, whereas everything apart from it is of a created nature, and whether or not he thinks this essence is all-powerful, he's asking the question. That is to say, does it possess the faculties of knowing, or foreknowledge, or creating, of embracing all things in itself? Does it possess providence, the power of deification, and in a world, all word, all such faculties or not? He's asking the question about everything, and notice that creating was mentioned in that. For if it does not have them, this essence is not God, which is what the Muslims say. That if God did not actually have the attribute, or in Christian terminology in this case, the energy of being a creator or creating, that he couldn't be God. This is what, hold on, let me finish the quote. This is what Gregory is saying. This essence is not of God, even though it alone is unoriginated. If it does not possess these powers, but acquired them subsequently, meaning after the fact, then there was a time when it was imperfect, in other words, was not God. However, 
if it possesses these faculties from eternity, it follows that not only is the divine essence unoriginate, but that each of its powers, which are the ones that we just mentioned, creating knowledge, etc., is also. Nonetheless, there is only one unoriginate essence, the essence of God. None of these powers that inhere in it is an essence, so that all necessarily and always are in the divine essence. So all of these, which yep. is exactly what the yep. Muslim position is, that these so-called energies or attributes of God subsist in his essence eternally, and he actually uses the phrase creating. Right, so, so now you're going against so, Gregory so, Palamas. So, 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 so is this the point where you Jake, tell us that Jake, Gregory Palamas so is wrong? So allow me to reply. Is this the point where you tell Jake, us Palamas allow me to is reply. wrong? Allow me to reply. Yeah, go ahead. So I've got no problems with what he's read. Gregory Palamas makes a distinction between the essences and the energies. The, the essence of God is unknowable. The energies of God are what God does in reality. I've got no problem with the idea that God has always had the ability to create. That he has always had the ability to have providence. No, I've got no problem with that. Because the things like God's mind, God's will, have always been there, are always part of who God is. What I have a problem with is Islamic theology, which says that God, one of his titles, is that God is completely self-sufficient and independent from creation for all that he is, including all of his attributes. And then one of those attributes is to say that God is merciful. Mercy, by definition, requires a transaction between the mercy giver and the one who receives mercy. So you can't have an irrational contradiction that says that God is merciful 